Hey YouTubers, thought I'd give you a uh, review today of my PAR NFED shortwave listening antenna. You can see here, welcome to Minnesota. It's 10 degrees outside, some fresh snow, it's quite pretty. Here I'm going to wreck it by walking through it. Um, what you'll see here is the, the far end of the PAR antenna. And I'll zoom in on it here as I come up. I have it as a sloper going up through this tree and then up as I come over here up to the house if you can see that and it's actually going up to the room there. So looking this way I am actually facing due north so my antenna is actually uh, oriented that's due west so it's going from southwest to northeast so, and you can see that I have a giant hill in the backyard. That hill basically acts as a reflecting block, or not a reflecting block, but as a block to signals coming out of the north, northwest and northern directions. I get great signal pickup on this coming from the south, southeast. What I've also done, and I don't know if you can see it here, is I've added a counterpoise off the ground on the par, and I'll go inside and show you how the par works. See it, and it's angled down to this bush, basically off the ground wire. And I have discovered that that actually helps some of the noise reduction in the antenna. All right, I'm gonna head back in and you will be able to see how I have it connected up to the uh, Sony SW7600GR. All right, we're back inside now, and you can see how the PAR. And fed SWL antenna is connected. Uh, one thing I really like about the antenna wire itself is it's very, very sturdy and durable. Uh, they use a multi stranded wire. And then the uh, what, what you're seeing here is the 9 to 1 transformer. And that 9 to 1 transformer actually does quite a good job um, of signal to noise ratio uh, assistance because it's actually matching the impedance of a long wire which is typically about 450 ohms to the impedance of the of the radio itself. I have made sure I use a coaxial connection here and then we'll just follow it down to the Sony and you can see how I have it connected to the Sony now as it focuses and I used a special adapter here. Let's pull that off. You can see what I used to connect the actual coax to the Sony itself. Connect that back up and plug that into the external jack. So all in all a great antenna well worth the investment. I would highly recommend you picking one up. 